So what stones? Well, it's a ball toss game, like bocce. One player throws a small target ball, called a mark, and then immediately throws one of their stones in an attempt to get as close to the mark as possible. The other team then begins to throw their stones, one at a time, in an attempt to get closer than the opponent's stone. This process continues until each team has thrown four stones. That ends a round and points are awarded for each stone that is closer to the mark than the opponent's closest stone. With that, all similarities end, and stones becomes a game of its own. Take that basic game play and put it on a course with obstacles and defined boundaries. The stones course consists of five distinct stretches. For example, one, two, three, four, and five. Each stretch consists of a base, or starting point, and a landing, where the stretch is brought to an end. In addition, the stones that a player has at his or her disposal are different sizes. One 90 millimeter, two at 100 millimeter, and one at 110 millimeter. With each throw, the decision needs to be made which size stone to use. So let's throw a game. Starting from the base on the first stretch, the mark is thrown forward and the round begins. The individual chosen to throw the first mark must then throw his or her first stone. Green throws their first stone and establishes it in the field of play. But with its first stone, red establishes its stone closer to the mark. Green then throws three more stones before it takes the advantage, exhausting its supply. With its three remaining stones, red is able to get one closer than green's closest, taking a one-point lead. The mark throw now goes to red, and they establish it deep on the landing of the first stretch. Red is unable to establish its first two stones in play, and with its third stone, Playing conservative, they throw relatively short, but at least it's in balance, making green throw next. With its first stone, green is easily inside red. With red's final ball thrown out of bounds, green takes advantage of the opportunity. Scoring two of its final three stones, green takes a three to one lead. And with the round ending with the mark on the landing, the first stretch is closed and the game advances to the second stretch. With possession going back to green, they throw the mark into a sand trap right on the water's edge and immediately follow it up with a stone that rests about six inches away. Failing to get closer with its first two stones, red takes a risk with its third stone and puts it in the water. A ball thrown in the water is not only out of bounds, but it is a penalty, forcing red to drop its final stone. With plenty of room, green is able to put its last three stones inside red's closest, giving them what should be four points, but in stones. When all four of one team's stones are inside of all four of another's, six points are awarded. Green opens up a 9 to 1 lead. Now down 8, Red throws short, trying to give themselves more opportunities to get back into the game. They establish their first stone in play, but leave plenty of room for Green to counter. Green's first stone goes long, but their second rests just a few inches away from the mark. With its second stone, the red aggressively knocks out the green sitting next to the mark, replacing it and giving themselves the advantage. Green's final two stones fall short. Red takes advantage of the opportunity, throwing their final two stones inside green's closest, closing the gap to nine to four. Over the next series of rounds, green tries to hold on by going to landing with each of their throws while Red throws short time and time again in an attempt to chip away at the lead. Standing on the fifth base, Green has seen its lead dwindle to one point. 
yet they controlled the mark, and with one successful throw to the landing, Green would be one round from winning. After establishing the mark on the fifth landing, Green's first stone goes out of bounds. Playing conservative, they lay up with their second. Red's first ball edges it out, but Green establishes relatively close with its third ball. With nothing to lose, Red goes straight for the mark, missing with its first two, but resting just inches away with its final throw. Yet Green holds the game's final stone in hand. And with it, Green knocks out the Red, leaving its stone in its place and winning the game by two. Now go ahead, grab a beer, and throw some stones. What's the worst that can happen? Just watch the windows.